I know a lot of you guys are new to the Jeep community. If you're in it or if you've been in it for just a short period of time, you know that lifting your Jeep is probably one of those things that you want to check off right away. Now, if you guys know you've been following the channel, we are sponsored by an off-road suspension manufacturer, Clayton Off-Road, and the kit is en route as we speak today. But we're very excited to get on that as well. In today's video, we want to describe kind of the top five reasons you should lift your Jeep. I'm obviously a big fan of lifting it, even with my Extreme Recon behind here, which already has a factory style lift. I want to get it up higher and give you some of the reasons why it might be a benefit for you to do the same. Number five, the probably the last reason or a reason you might want to consider lifting it or something that it's going to help you with is to replace worn out suspension components. Now, as you guys know, if you've had a Jeep for 20, 30, 100,000 miles, a lot of the suspension and driveline components are going to be worn out. Now, I like to say this is number five because if you are considering replacing them with OEM or stock style parts, it might be a good investment for you to spend a couple hundred dollars more and actually get the lift kit that you've been looking for. That's going to replace a lot of the same suspension components, give you higher up in the air, but then also take care of any of that maintenance issue that you were experiencing in your Jeep. A lot of the time that we've lifted Jeeps, it was because things were wearing out. So either the shocks were blown, you were getting worn out sway bar links. So might as well get the entire kit all at once, replace all of that, get a fresh ride and get all of those maintenance items checked off the list. Now, the number four reason is one that's kind of obvious if you guys are out on the trail a lot and are carrying a lot of heavy weight. So number four is to be able to carry more load to adjust for the compensation of weight on the front bumper with a winch and everything else that you've got going on or just to simply keep that Jeep riding at the same ride height when you have a trailer attached to the back of it. I personally tow an off-road trailer. We're going to have a steel bumper and winch, so I'm going to need some help when it comes to adjusting this Jeep to be at the right ride height when I add all that weight on. Because let's be honest, Jeep did not design all of this to have a heavy front bumper, to have a winch, to add overland gear in the back. They did not account for that when designing the spring rates as well as the shock dampening on there. One cool thing that Clayton Off-Road does is they actually compensate for a front steel bumper and a winch on all of their lift kits. So you don't need to add any of those pucks, any of the spacers into the coil springs. The front springs are already adapted for the weight of that. So when you add the kit onto your Jeep, it's already going to be perfectly level and riding the right way. They don't want you to have to add on another rubber spring spacer if you just spent enough on a lift kit. The third reason, probably the most popular reason to lift your Jeep is to make it look cool. Obviously you want to turn this thing into something that you like. And we just interviewed one of our viewers here. His name was Dave. He had a base Sport S. So it was a Sport S and he actually added on a Clayton off-road two and a half inch Overland Plus kit. What it did was make the Jeep look really cool. If you guys have a Sport, if you have a Sahara, you know that they don't look as cool as a Rubicon stock. You add on a lift kit and wheels and tires and you're going to be completely changing not only the way your Jeep drives, but the way it looks. The number two reason to get your Jeep up in the air is to increase your off-road articulation. Now, if that is the goal of this and that's what you're looking to do with it, there are a ton of kits that offer way more articulation than a factory lift kit can give you. The reason being is when they create a factory vehicle suspension, and they're doing that for on-road, for safety, for reliability and drivability because 95% of it is going to be on the road. If you really want to flex it out, you want to look at a kit that has control arms, sway bar disconnects, different dual rate or even triple rate springs, heck, maybe even coilovers, but you want to be able to flex it out and still get that ride quality on the road. Being able to stuff your tire farther up into your fender or allow for more droop is a one benefit of adding a lift kit. So off-road articulation, that is the number two reason to do that. If you are hardcore on the trails, you've got to replace that stock suspension with something that's going to flex out and allow you to flex out a whole lot more. The number one reason or pro to lifting your Jeep is probably something that I've fielded on Facebook groups, JR Wrangler forums is what's the biggest size tire I can fit with X lift. Obviously that's the biggest one. So I will tell you guys, if you are looking to run bigger tires or that's something you're trying to do, that's the number one reason of lifting your Jeep. Let's be honest, running the bigger tire, getting more sidewall, getting more travel, more clearance, that is the biggest benefit because you can't just stuff a 40 inch tire onto a stock Jeep unless you do a ton of trimming and cutting. Once you lift it, you can fit that bigger tire, get higher up in the air and increase basically your entire life happiness. When I put on our Clayton lift kit, I don't know how big I plan on going, but I can tell you it is going to be bigger than the 315-7017 that comes on here. And you have to lift it to do that. You have to lift it to make sure that that tire size can still get good articulation, that it rides right and has enough clearance in between the fender flares. I'll tell you, that's my number one reason for lifting it, adding bigger tires. And then the list goes the exact same way. I want all five of those benefits. And that's why we're going to be installing a Clayton off-road kit onto here very, very soon. Well, guys, I hope this 
video helped you out and some of the reasons that you might be looking for a lift kit for your Wrangler, Gladiator, really any off-road vehicle. When you're deciding on a kit, make sure you go over these top five pros just to make sure you can check them all off of the box and make sure you're getting all of them if that's truly what you wanna do. Now, of course, there is an absolute ton of lift kit styles out there and maybe we should actually plan on a video in the future. I've seen some comments before on what type of lift should I get? Is a spacer lift good enough? What can I do to actually modify it but not break the bank? There's a lot of great questions, so I think those are some great future video ideas and we're gonna be covering a lot more on this channel. Like I said before, the lift kit is in route for this. We plan on doing it, showing you a full installation and our on and off-road review of it. I cannot be more excited to work with a great partner such as Clayton Off-Road. I'm very excited to get that on and obviously I wanna get bigger tires and really chop this thing up. I can't leave things stock too long, so it is time to modify this Jeep and really dig in with some of those major modifications. Until next time, my name is Matt with Dirt Road Cred. Get out there and earn yours.